Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about pulse oximeter. How it works. So what is a pulse oximeter? A pulse oximeter is a device that is used to quickly and easily monitor a person's oxygen saturation. That means it can measure the level of oxygen within the blood, especially in arterial blood without using any invasive means. It measures the oxygen saturation of pulsating blood and it is known as SpO2. Heart rate is automatically calculated alongside the percentage of oxygen. Now before going to the mechanism, we need to have an understanding of what oxygen saturation is. We all know that blood carries oxygen which is necessary for our life. Oxygen in blood is specifically carried by hemoglobin molecules. Now here you can see two hemoglobin molecules. One is with oxygen and one is without oxygen. The hemoglobin without oxygen is called deoxygenated hemoglobin and the hemoglobin with oxygen is called oxygenated hemoglobin. Oxygen saturation simply refers to the percentage of the available hemoglobin that carries oxygen. Take the situation below. There are 10 hemoglobin units and none of the 10 have oxygen. So the oxygen saturation is 0%. Now here 5 out of 10 hemoglobin have oxygen. So the oxygen saturation is therefore 50%. And of course when all the hemoglobin have oxygen the saturation is then 100%. Now let's see how pulse oximeter works. Here I have drawn a simple picture. Pulse oximeter uses light to work out the oxygen saturation. Light is emitted from the light source which goes across the pulse oximeter probe and reaches the light detector. Here you can see this is the light source and here is the light detector. If a finger is placed in between the light source and the light detector, the light will now have to pass through the finger to reach the detector. Part of the light will be absorbed by the finger and the part not absorbed reaches the light detector. The pulse oximeter uses the property that oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin absorb light of different wavelengths in a specific way. Oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin absorbs different amount of light at different wavelengths. Now pulse oximeter emits two types of lights. One is red light which has a wavelength of approximately 650 nanometer and the other is infrared light which has a wavelength of 950 nanometer. The pulse oximeter works out the oxygen saturation by comparing how much red light and infrared light is absorbed by the blood. Depending on the amounts of oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin present, the ratio of the amount of red light absorbed compared to the amount of infrared light absorbed changes. Using this ratio, the pulse oximeter can then work out the oxygen saturation. The internal circuits and the processing components of the pulse oximeter do some calculations as well. The device has to compensate for the ambient light, finger size and the absorbance of the rest of the tissues. There is a reference curve saved in the memory of the device to calibrate the incoming readings and to normalize them. This increases the precision of the results that it provides. Now let's discuss about the interpretation. A healthy person should be able to achieve normal blood oxygen saturation levels or SpO2 of 95% to 100% consistent. If SpO2 value is 91 to 94%, it is considered as a mild hypoxemia. For patients with mild respiratory distress, the SpO2 should be 90% or above. Supplementary oxygen should be used if SpO2 levels falls below 90%. 86 to 90 percent of SpO2 is considered as moderate hypoxemia and less than 85 is considered as severe hypoxemia. But here one thing you should remember that factors such as movement, temperature or nail polish can impact the accuracy. So that's all about the mechanism of pulse oximeter. Hope you find this video helpful. Comment below if you want us to make any specific videos. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.